Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another video for you of how we can increase our mining uh, hash rate speed with a very simple trick. And uh, as you can see, I am on the Bitcoin uh, webpage where you can download the latest version of Claymore, which is uh, for today 14.6 and as you can see the parameter that we can use to increase our mining uh, our mining speed which uh, is an option uh, it uh, that it can give us improvement uh, of uh, the hash rate up to 5% so basically this is a very simple trick but uh, more advanced than um, on the previous video where uh, I showed you how you can increase a uh, hundred percent your mining speed so basically now we can have an additional five percent from our mining rig or from our graphics card if you happen to have a personal pc with an amd graphics card and basically after you download the latest version of the claymore miner then make sure that your antivirus or windows defender did not uh, uh, pick uh, the Claymore Miner as a malware or something so uh, you can open it and since we are here the first thing you need to do obviously you go to the AMD Radeon uh, settings then go to gaming global settings and make sure you uh, so let me minimize it make sure to have your GPU workload to compute if your graphics cards support this one because in this way you will have uh, you will have uh, a bigger increase in hash rate if you have your GPU uh, workload uh, to compute. Okay then, then uh, or let's say before we begin, let's start the miner and see what do we get out of the stock settings as we saw yesterday and um, uh, till the miner loads, I can tell you that uh, the way we are going to gain um, at at let's say from one to up to five percent speed it's really easy we just need to go to the uh, to uh, the our batch file which we have on the claymore miner and we just add at the end of the string uh, this parameter in here minus rx boost uh, uh, one space one we can set uh, different values uh, custom values from two to 100 which basically sets the intensity of the rx boost and um, obviously you can use the RX boost for, for each graphics card if you have a mining rig and before we go any further you have to know that um, this uh, uh, this uh, let's say this way to increase your mining rig should work for your day uh, daily graphics card or your personal PC um, or your AMD graphics card that you may have but it may also work uh, for the mining rigs that you may have but you have to keep in mind that this uh, for now it's only for Windows so I'm sorry for the guys that have uh, Linux or any other uh, or any other um, uh, system that they might use for the RX boost but uh, as long uh, as uh, long as I know I uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, other systems will support the RX boost uh, for example Hive OS does now support the RX boost uh, on their uh, latest updates the update to the system so if you have another system um, uh, not Windows then you check out the the official page of uh, of uh, the manufacturer or the developers of the system because they might support the RX boost now. So basically, as you can see, I'm getting around 21.3 mega hashes on stock settings. I have written it down in here, 21.3 mega hashes on stock settings. Now, what we have to do is really easy. Let's close the miner and go back. Obviously, you can read uh, all about the RX boost, but basically it's really simple. You go to the batch file, you right click on it, you click edit, and on the end of the string, you add space, then minus RX boost space one, and that's it. Then you save the file, obviously, and let's try. Now, uh, I think that it will not happen to me you will uh, after you open the miner after you add this account you will see this string in here rx boost option is applied successfully uh, for some reason when you run this for the first time you might get uh, an error message where 
uh, where it is uh, a string in red like this one in here where it says that you must run Claymore Miner as an administrator. If that happens then you close the miner again then uh, obviously you are on the folder of Claymore Miner. Click on the string in here you copy the address and then go to the miner again the batch file click edit and you add this string at the beginning of the line you paste it in here obviously add a dash and then you save this one like this then you click uh, you right click obviously and hit run as administrator now it should be good to go but anyway you might get another error message where it says that you need to restart your pc if you do get that error message then obviously close claymore miner restart your pc and go and open the batch file again but if for some reason for the uh, from the first time you get this string in here rx boost option is applied successfully then you don't have to do anything the uh, um, uh, the rx boot settings was applied successfully and as you can see now i can mine uh, around 22.5 mega hashes a second where where if we do the math we are around 5 to 5.3 uh, let's say 22.5 mega hashes a second uh, with the, the minus rx boost one okay so as you can see i i have gotten around five percent increase right away only by adding a minus rx boost at the end of the string now if for some reason your pc may freeze up or if your miner your mining rig uh, it's not stable then you can try different parameter as i told you you can try rx boost one if that doesn't work your miner is unstable then you can try rx boost two up to rx boost 100 or you can even set rx boost for each graphics card uh, separately if you have a mining rig uh, you can set the parameter for each uh, graphics card uh, like uh, it shows in here minus rx boost 1 comma 0 comma 10 30 you can set different values for different cars if for some reason your mining rig uh, it's uh, it's unstable with this parameter now let's go back to the subject of increasing even further uh, the mining hash uh, hash speed and obviously this is a little bit more advanced so basically if you don't know how to do uh, to do this you can basically leave it uh, like this but if you know how to do this then you can use the global Wattman to be able to uh, obviously overclock your graphics card because as you can see on the watt meter uh, that I am showing you uh, we are consuming around two point uh, uh, 255 52 around two, let's say 250 watts uh, from the wall uh, from my pc obviously uh, with recording and um, and screen together but uh, on the global watt man we can try and do some overclocking so basically we go to the global watt man then we go to the frequency let's do the gpu clock it's not needed with ethereum so let's say 1100 let's say the voltage it's too high so let's try with 900 if uh, after you change those parameters your mining rig is not stable then you can try to increase the voltages a little bit so let's try 900 millivolts uh, hit enter to apply now you can change all of these settings at once but i suggest you change them one by one so if your uh, mining rig or computer gets instable then you you know what you change and you can uh, undo that or set another value so you just hit apply in here and try again and see if something happens but since i know what i'm doing obviously you can set the speed of your fan so you don't get your graphics card overheat because the heat is a really nice uh, re a really a big problem then obviously we can change the memory so let's do 
2000 okay let's try 2150 you can try even more if it's not stable then you can clock it down you can even try uh, 2250 if you own an rx 580 with 80 gigabytes of ram uh, it can go to up to 2250 uh, but if it's not stable then you can go back down to a lower value okay let's hit enter then hit apply and try if that helps uh, 23.8 oh 24 okay nice so basically uh, okay we gained uh, we gained another 1.5 around okay 20 let's say 24 1 okay 24.1 mega hashes a second uh, with um, rx boost and overclock okay so basically we, we gained another five percent maybe even more so with uh, these two simple tricks you can send your uh, graphics card to mine uh, at least 10 percent uh, faster if your uh, graphics card uh, can handle 2000 uh, 2000 uh, 2250 on the memory clock you can gain even more you can go around uh, 25 I think uh, so uh, yeah again <laughs> these are very simple tricks which you can use and gain some free stuff so basically at the end around let's say around around 10 percent gain in mining speed and oh wow I didn't look at the wattage look at the wattage guys we are at uh, one, uh, 197 200 let's say 200 watts okay we have um, we have uh, gained 50 watts uh, oh nice only by changing the GPU clock and obviously the voltage is to, to 900 okay then that was uh, it again guys if you have um, uh, if you have some problems with stability again you can try uh, different uh, rx boost values or you can set different rx boost values for different cards and see which card is the problem so basically you can do for example rx boost one and then uh, do comma then do zero 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 for all the graphics cards so basically uh, you set rx boost for the first card and then for the other cards uh, they are all at default so if the mining rig is uh, unstable you know that the first card is your problem then you can try uh, with the later uh, with the, the other values if uh, the mining rig uh, is stable with that one so basically uh, you will find out which graphics card which graphic card uh, is the problem on your mining rig if you use this parameter on your mining rig and again you can use this parameter uh, even your, on your personal pc also on your mining rigs even if they are bios modded or not bios modded you can try and see if that uh, uh, obviously helps uh, for me it worked basically i think that we, this works for all the amd graphics card but um, uh, I think that for the uh, cards that n are not BIOS modded, but anyway, you can try it. It, uh, it doesn't hurt anything. If you gain 10%, uh, then good for you, or at least 5% with the RX Boost. If not, then you have tried it. But uh, yeah, that was uh, it for today. Hope, uh, obviously, it, this was helpful. And, um, and uh, as always, you can uh, ask me on the comment section or contact me on social media if you have... Uh, um, any doubts uh, or anything you have not got uh, into this video and uh, yeah I think I covered uh, all the things I wanted to cover on this one uh, yeah I think so definitely stay tuned because I will do another video to show you guys uh, how you can earn uh, even more hashing speed from your graphics card with another way but obviously that way it's um, it's a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more advanced than this one so basically uh, definitely stay tuned for that so you can uh, you can earn even even more speed or you can get even more speed out of your graphics card so definitely stay tuned for the other video okay then let's wrap this uh, up as always before we go away don't forget to subscribe to the channel also turn on post notification uh, like and share the videos uh, 
uh, because it will help my channel grow. And as always, thanks very much for watching and catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.